Hello everyone, I'm going to start a new tutorial series about the Panda 3D game engine. There are not too many tutorials about this engine, especially here on YouTube, and also those tutorials are many years old and outdated, so that's why I decided to create these videos. Uh, it was about 2009 or 2010 when I first heard about this engine, after I played a game called a Vampire Story. And this is a point-and-click adventure game, and if you open up the Wikipedia page, uh, it was developed by Autumn Moon Entertainment, and here it says that it was created using Panda 3D. And another um, game by the same developer, so the Autumn Moon Entertainment, is the Ghost Pirates of Wuju Island. It was also created using Panda 3D and it was released in 2009. And one more game which was created using Panda 3D is the Toon Town. So this is some kind of a game written for children. And uh, if you open this up, so Toon Town Online you can read about this game and this game was developed by Disney and Disney is also a maintainer of the Panda 3D engine so okay so just go to the panda3d.org and just read about the information what you can find here here is the features blog com community and also a manual so I started to use this engine just a few months ago and I can say that I really like it, especially because you can code the game logic using Python and also in C++. So in these tutorials we are going to use Python and uh, I, sh I should also say that the core engine is written in C++, which means it's fast, so you don't have to be afraid because because it uses Python, your game will be slow or something like that. Uh, Python is embedded into the engine and uh, core C++ functionalities are exposed to Python. So you can draw drive those uh, using Python. And as its name suggests, Panda 3D is a 3D engine, but this doesn't mean that you cannot create 2D games with it. Um, later we are also going to take a look on how to create sprite sheet animations, orthographic projections and the stuff what is needed for creating actual 2D games. I already created a minigame using Panda 3D because that's the best way to actually learn any game engine library or framework. So the game is just a simple uh, 2D image puzzle game. I'm going to show you it now. So we have eight numbers and we need to arrange these numbers in the correct order. So it will be uh, the correct order is starting from the top left, so 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, and this should be an empty cell. So after clicking on these, on these rectangles, as you can see, the number moves to the next free cell. So when I click to the two, number 2, it will move to the left, because this is a free cell. And you have only one place to move and you can only move horizontally or vertically so you cannot move let's say the eight so you cannot move diagonally i also added this uh, simple user interface with, with some text which just so shows you the number of steps so after each move or each click it increases the number of steps and uh, because I'm not the best at in this game, <laughs> although I created this, uh, I'm just going to... Hmm, I'm close to it. Okay, so close. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, and uh, here should be the seven and here the eight. So after you, after you have the the correct 
order of numbers, uh, it will print out game one or the one and also uh, press space to reset or restart. I'm just going to quickly show you or create the winning scene off screen and show you the results. So I'm close to the winning screen, so I have one, two, three, four, five, six. Now I just have to move this eight to this position and as you can see it prints out or it shows the text one and press space to restart. So after pressing the space, the step counter resets to zero and the grid is randomized. So there is uh, it is always randomized. So maybe later uh, I'm going to show you also how to create this game, but for now this game is just for learning purposes and the uh, source code for now it is only for me so closed. Maybe later I'm going to release the source also on GitHub. So that's all I wanted to say in this video and or show in this video and in the next video we are going to set up a python virtual environment and install panda 3d in that environment and uh, until then thanks for watching and have a nice day